I have nothing to make a video about. TF2? Well, I guess I could play a few rounds. Maybe I'll get an idea here somehow. And there goes bots again. <sighs> hey, wait a sec. Gaming? Nothing to make a video about? Gaming? Hmm, I think I'm thinking of something. <gasps> oh god. Okay. <laughs> okay. I have an idea! What's going on, everybody? This is the Edge Channel. Welcome back to another video. As some of you may know, I am a gamer and collector too. I remember the days of me getting games and playing them and still do to this day. Granted, I kind of stopped game collecting, but I'm sort of coming back to it because they are things I do want to get. Like for example, an actual working PS3. I'm not going to get into detail here, but all I'll just say is that this baby doesn't work and F you PS3, you were a great waste of 50 bucks. But. That's not what we're talking about today. Over the last couple of months, I've seen a lot of people start gaming in a very not good way. I find that people can get tired of gaming immediately after they started, but I am not gonna let that happen. What we are gonna do is basically throw everything out the window and start fresh, because in today's video, I'm gonna teach you the ways of being a gamer. So, without further ado, let's get on with the video. So I had something funny for this one, but it wasn't that funny. Let's just move on. So... Our first step of becoming a grand gamer is starting by mobile gaming. And also PC mobile, I guess, since that's a thing. Yes, yes, I know. Everyone says Android is dumbed down as the worst form of gaming out there. Now, that might be true, but for me, it's kind of good in its own little way. I mean, come on now. You're seriously going to skip the classics like Angry Birds and Subway Surfers? Are you really gonna skip those? And even the new stuff is great too, like Granny, and if you know my channel for so long, you know how I feel about Granny. But, the one thing I think is great for a mobile game is <sighs> Among Us. Yes, I, I, I know. Even with the very unfunny when the imposter is sus memes, I actually find Among Us to be a quite interesting game. It does have some kind of strategy with it, even though it's just kind of basic from a standpoint, but it's a valuable game. So, if you're really starting out mobile, then I kind of recommend it. And also Minecraft 2, because someone out there has $7 in their pocket. But, let's move on to the second step of how to be a gamer. Oh crap, I just found out that... Minecraft is on the new 3DS now. I think I might go order it. Or step 1.5. This is kind of optional depending on what you're trying to do, but I'll talk about it anyways. Handhelds is both great and kind of underrated to be really honest with you. I mean, you have the classic handhelds, like the Game Boy and the DS line, and also PlayStation made some portables, I guess. Also, I was thinking really hard if the Switch had counted too? I mean, technically yeah, but we'll get into it. But going back here, if you're actually getting into the handhelds, then I have some recommendations for you. So, I have some recommendations for what you can do for being a gamer if you're wanting to do the handheld side. So, for our Game Boy lineup, we have the good old Game Boy Advance SP. Now, if you know the Game Boys, then you guys know that this is just the best, because it flips, it has a light on it, and that classic intro. So, I just recommend this one the best. Now, for our DS's, it's a little different, so we have 
the DSi, and the original DS Lite. You can do the original DS and you'll be just fine, but I kind of recommend this one. Um, it can play funny Game Boy Advance games. Whoop, whoop de doo Then the DSi has a camera, but can't play Game Boy Advance games. So, throw that one aside. This one's the best. Now, if you're wanting to do a 3DS, uh, you can do any 3DSs and you'll be just fine. The one I have here is the new 2DS XL, because I somehow wanted that. I got it for Christmas, and eh, it's working just fine. You can play Game Boy Advance games, which sucks. But hey, you can play original DS games, so you'll be fine there. And, uh, PlayStation? Uh, I've just broken up PSP, even though the Vita is probably the best. Yay. But hey, these are the consoles I recommend if you're wanting to do the handhelds. So, uh, yeah. But I mean, hey, those are just my recommendations. You can do anything, it'll be just fine. You can do those really cool controllers and put onto your phone and use Steam, which is honestly really cool. So, I don't have anything else to say here besides what I just said. So, let's actually move on to step two, and that is... So now we get into one of my favorite kinds of games, and that is consoles. I love consoles, and I've grown up with them, and they basically made my childhood, well, my childhood. But, if we're going to start plugging in consoles, we have to talk about them, so let's talk about it. So first off, we are not talking about the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series XE, Max S, Pro, whatever. We are going to talk about simple stuff. So, what is that? Well, there is one console that I believe you should start with. One console that has a great library of games, a very nice controller, a decent live subscription, and apps, of course. And that is the Nintendo Wii, because it's, 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 got, it's got Netflix on it. Duh. But no, it's the Xbox 360 by a landscape. There has never been a console that has stood the test of time as one of the greatest consoles of all time. I mean, it's got games like The Orange Box and Left 4 Dead. I'm not going to get into Left 4 Dead as much as I'm going to say here because I actually have a planned video for it. But, I'm just going to say that it's one of the best zombie games of all time. But then you have this game, The Orange Box. This is literally a 5-in-1 compilation game. It's got most of the Half-Life 2 games, Portal, and Team Fortress 2. Those are like one of the best Valve games of all time. And they also Left 4 Dead 2. <laughs> but then there's also Black Ops. Yes, I know that it's for other consoles too, but I found the Xbox 360 version to be the best version. As for the console itself, it's very sturdy. I mean... This thing went through like 9 years of abuse, but that's another thing. You have to take good care of these consoles, because these are very fragile. But you'll never know one day your console will accidentally drop on the floor. Oops. But besides that, if you're wanting a console that can play decent games and apps and also cook a nice hot pocket since the heat on it is whack, then the Xbox 360 is the option for you. Or the PlayStation 3, but good luck finding a working PS3. But I know I cannot talk about gaming consoles without bringing up the retro stuff. So I recommend the GameCube or the PS2, honestly. The PlayStation 2 is a really great console, although 50% of its library of games is pretty much garbage. But hey, it can play DVD, so if you got some movies laying around, then you got the PS2 to play those. And as much as I love the GameCube, and... It's been my childhood console, it's anything but a DVD player, but that doesn't mean it's bad or anything, it's a really good console. So, do you want to play PS2 and PS1 games and also can play DVDs? Then the PlayStation 2 is for you. Do you want to play only games and baby discs? Then the GameCube is for you. Okay, so editor's note here, I was like uh, finishing up the video here, and I forgot 
to add, um, like, old, old consoles, like the NES and stuff like that. So, just, just get, like, those, um, those 3-in-1 consoles that has the NES, SNES, N64, probably Genesis. I mean, it's a lot less expensive than having to get all the consoles itself, which is quite expensive, honestly. But, okay, back to regular video. As for modern consoles itself, there's nothing I can really say here because not counting the Switch, the Xbox One and the PS4 are kind of the same in terms of games and hardware, so you can choose any one of these and you'll be fine. And the Switch is, well, you know, the Switch. It's more for Nintendo fans, which I'm one of them, and kids too, so again. If you're looking for consoles, modern ones are you can choose whenever whatever ones you want. The Xbox 360 is the one I recommend the most, and the GameCube and the PS2 is the ones I recommend for when you want to go retro gaming. So now we get into one of the scariest parts of the video, and that is none other than PC gaming. <laughs> know where to start with PC gaming because there is so many things that has to do with PC that I cannot narrow it down like there's laptops computers mouses keyboards games and so much other stuff but because we're supposed to be a gamer I'm kind of forced to talk about it so I can try to narrow it down first of all get a PC you can get your standard laptop if it, if it has more than 100 gigabytes, it'll do just fine. Second of all, get a gaming mouse. Wired or wireless, it does not matter. Another thing is to get Steam over Epic Games because I find it just kind of better. If you're looking for a game to play, then play TF2. It's a really good game, but do not grind on it as much as I did or else you'll get tired of it. And still play it, like me. And also, CSGO and literally any other game on Steam is fine, I guess. So after not taking a shower for two weeks and smelling like an abandoned Wendy's, then you have officially became a gamer. And that just does it for today's video. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give a thumbs up, subscribe to the so do not miss a post. But, before I go, we hit 100 subscribers! Yeah! Alright, so yes, it took us almost four years to reach 100 subscribers, and I just want to say that I am so happy, and I really appreciate the, the love and support they've given me, and uh, honestly, I wasn't expecting to hit this. I was just expecting to be like some small YouTuber, which I am, still, but honestly, I wasn't um, thinking I was going to hit 100 subscribers, but honestly... I am so grateful for you guys, and I really do appreciate the support. So, I don't know what to do for my 100 subscribers special. I, I kind of don't know. I I'll think of something. But for now, we will just celebrate that I have 100 subscribers. So, yes, I am very happy about that. Um, there's nothing I can really say besides that. So, I will see you guys in the next video. See ya! The GameCube is the best. Okay, bye.